Okay, now let's move on to MCQ question 28. The diagram shows a pollinated couple before and after fertilization, which labeled structures are diploid and which are haploid. Okay, let's take a look at the figure itself. Over at X, okay, before fertilization, you can see that over here, this is the pollen grain. Okay, after it landed on the stigma, it will form a style, okay, in which the male gametes will travel down. Okay, and the male gametes will travel down the style such that it will go all the way and it will eventually fuse with W known as the ovum or the egg cell. Okay, since the ovum or the egg cell is also a gamete, a female gamete, both the ovum and the male gametes, they are essentially haploid. Okay, so based on elimination, W and X will be haploid. Okay, and let's take a look at after fertilization. Okay, so after fertilization, you can see that the male gametes have already fused with the egg cells. Okay, whereas for structure Y, structure Y will be the ovary wall. Okay, structure Y will be the ovary wall. Okay, and as for structure Z, okay, this will be the zygote. Okay, since this is after fertilization, the male gamete have already fused with the egg cell. Hence, this will actually form our diploid cells. Okay, essentially everybody, all cells apart from the gametes are diploid. Okay, so based on this, option D will be the correct answer.